Welcome to The Interest. I'm Ryan Kingsley. Today is Thursday, which means our own Vincent Valvo has pulled his chair to the fireside to bring you poetic moments in mortgage. After that, we'll be smashing the crystal ball to take a peek at what the markets have in store. But before we dig into the news, it's important to remember that no matter how the market twists and turns, no matter how the CRMs and LOSs and AVMs eliminate more of the human touch from mortgage origination, this business is built from relationships first. One industry veteran I spoke with says that to pretend any differently is to risk missing out on the huge opportunities that good friends and good partnerships provide. Here's her story. Not many people know that Stacy Maizano can handle a circular saw. I got that from my grandfather and my father. So um, not a lot of people know I can, I can know how to operate um, power tools. <laughs> she adds. Um, craftsmen to be specific. But loyalty for the sake of loyalty isn't the lesson that Maizano has learned for more than two decades working in the mortgage industry. It's more of loyalty from the standpoint of being in that partnership together. Since 2018, Maizano has been the director of business development at Polunsky Beidel Green, Texas's oldest law firm exclusively representing residential mortgage lenders. Working at the firm has reinforced her belief that business is personal, and there's no reason it shouldn't be. We're all just human beings. I'm not going to have two different lives. I'm not gonna have a business life and a personal life. I'm just gonna have life. And I'm who I am. And so I'm not going to be something different in business that I would be in personal and vice versa. What's more, Maizano would like to banish the myth that people don't have the time to go the extra mile by joining an industry trade association or else putting a $5 gift card in the mail to remind one of your partners that you're thinking of them. It's not as time consuming as I think we make it out to be. And the reward you get from that so much surpasses um, any time. Um, I wish I would have done it sooner in my career. The beautiful thing about the mortgage industry though, it always needs new leaders and it's never too late to start. Be in the rooms where decisions get made and be able to be a part of that um, and collaborate where those decisions are being made. Read more about how business is personal at nationalmortgageprofessional.com. For The Interest, I'm Ryan Kingsley. We all dream of owning a home. But for too long, if you didn't fit the mold, you were stuck. Stuck because the system worked for everyone except you. We've changed that. Angel AI uses advanced AI technology to give a 100% trusted solution and fast answers for worry-free financing, allowing you to achieve fair and equal access to lending. Angel AI. AI you can bank on. For the interest, I'm LaDonna Lockard. With the double-digit drop in mortgage applications over the past week and the continued climb of interest rates, loans that make it to the finish line are getting fewer and further between. With less deals to be had in an industry that is paid primarily based on commission, it seems like a good time to assess how you're paid. There's been a shift in regional managers' pay to more profit-based rather than strictly volume-based. This has raised the issue of paying loan originators based on profits rather than just basis points. The problem is the LO compensation rule prohibits most LOs from being paid based on profits. There's a non-producing manager exception, but the rules are clear and strict on who qualifies for profit-based compensation. Those who don't fall within the exception are limited to a maximum of 10% of their total compensation coming from profits based on discretionary bonuses. If you're an individual LO, you may be compensated 
under a non-deferred profits based compensation plan if you meet two tests. You are a loan originator for 10 or fewer transactions consummated during the 12 month period preceding the date of the compensation determination, or two, this compensation is not based on the terms of your transactions. As explained by the CFPB, assume you are a loan originator organization employing two individual LOs who originate covered transactions during the calendar year. Loan originator A is a manager who originates loans only occasionally. Loan originator B consistently originates loans. In January of the following year, you evaluate the performance of your mortgage business for the prior year, and on February 1st, decide to pay a bonus to your LOs out of the company bonus pool. Between January 1st of the prior calendar year and January 30th of the current calendar year, loan originator A originated eight transactions and loan originator B originated 15. You may use the 10 or fewer exception to award a bonus to originator A who originated 10 or fewer loans consummated during the 12 month period before you determine to pay the bonus. You may not use the 10 or fewer exception to award the bonus to originator B. However, you may be able to award a bonus if it's within the 10% total compensation limit requirements. And I've heard it enough times to know what you're thinking. And unfortunately, just because you know of another company that's paying improperly doesn't mean you yourself won't get fined for doing so. For The Interest, I'm LaDonna Lockard. In the world of real estate, a tale I'll unfold of mortgage brokers and donuts, a story so bold. They stroll into open houses with boxes in hand, bringing sweetness and loans to the real estate land. With a grin on their faces, they step through the door, donuts in one hand, paperwork on the floor. They're here to help buyers secure a great loan, but first they indulge in a sugary cone. Hello there, they greet with a sugar-filled smile. As they munch on a donut, they chat for a while. They sweeten the deal with their mortgage know-how and jelly oozes out and crumbs hit the ground. The realtors look on a bit puzzled, it's true, as donut crumbs fly and sugar glaze too. But these brokers are savvy, they know their stuff. They'll find you a mortgage that's strong and tough. They'll calculate rates and explain all the fees while sipping on coffee and licking their lips, please. With a donut in one hand, a pen in the other, they'll help you buy homes unlike any other. So next time you see a mortgage broker in sight with a box full of donuts and a heart full of light, remember they're here to sweeten the deal and make buying a home a delicious ordeal. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to nationalmortgageprofessional.com.